hello students we have discussed uh, in earlier videos about the problem of the share croppers how gandhi ji fight against the issues concerned with the indigo share cropping and there was announcement that is indigo share cropping uh, disappeared and it it is the important thing happened now gandhi ji was there till because gandhi ji observed what is the observation he saw the cultural and social backwardness in champaran villages and because of that cultural and social backwardness he started thinking about the education so he appealed uh, then uh, two peer teachers already we have discussed about them that is mahadev desai and narhari parik they were there and again their wives and some again more uh, teachers from uh, here pune bombay they were also there and then uh, here gandhi ji's uh, son here also devidas yeah, yenge son uh, and uh, mrs gandhi kasturba gandhi she was also uh, there so we can understand that they set up the schools in nearby areas and how to behave that ashram rules uh, how to live life with a proper way and how to regulate ourselves our mind uh, with positivity prayer all that uh, such type of things and preachings it was given on their part now next health conditions were miserable and there uh, area in that area health condition was also mean health care or primary health centers like that situation would be different we can understand so here gandhi got a doctor to volunteer his service uh, for 6 month so here now one more thing that is the doctor means teachers requirement was there now doctor requirement it is there so gandhi got a doctor to volunteer his service for 6 month so voluntarily teachers they were also working so here voluntarily doctor they are also working because influential leader like gandhi ji here convinced them appealed them to do that thing three medicines were available castor oil quinine and sulfur ointment anybody uh, who showed a coasted tongue was given a dose of a castor oil any anybody with malaria fever received uh, quinine uh, plus castor oil and anybody with skin eruptions received ointment plus castor oil so this was the combination of the doses here uh, about the medical problems it is mentioned then next what so here gandhi no noticed so what is the notice uh, filthy state of women's clothes so specially about the uh, women condition means here they were not having enough money for the survival and the women's clothes all that things here we can understand that uh, we should give them proper clothes otherwise and then the, as a humanity as a human being the atmosphere or the appearance it would not be good so he asked kasturbai to talk with them about it one woman uh, took kasturbai into her hut and said look there is no box or cupboard here for clothes the sari i am wearing is the only one i have so uh, this is the clear picture of poverty stricken this is a clear picture like the comical poverty we cannot understand when we will go there and when we will investigate the things when we will communicate with them then only we can understand their problems uh, nowadays also in india after independence also such type of villages such type of areas are there where still uh, in remote areas problems uh, so many uh, people they are facing such type of uh, problems <coughs> then here during his long stay in champaran 
Gandhi kept a long distance watch on the ashram. So he was taking the responsibility of Champarani issues. He had taken the uh, follow-up of ashram also. Means as a human being, as a leader, we have to work simultaneously with the setup which is already ready because there are so many followers and he used to take care of that ashram also. He sent regular instruction by mail and asked uh, for financial accounts. That is equally important. So here we can understand his disciplined nature. Once he uh, wrote to the residents that uh, it was time to fill in the old uh, latrine uh, trenches and uh, dig new ones, otherwise the old ones would begin to smell bad. So here, this is the very small, small things he used to observe and he used to notice and he used to guide them. So, the leaders, they are not doing the things which are uh, very different from others, but they are changing the small, small things. And that small, small things, when they will change, it will be noticed, it will be observed by the common people. And then common people would become their followers and they would follow him. Because he was the barrister, even though he used to, since Gandhiji used to live like a common man. The Champaran episode was a turning point in Gandhi's life. So this question, it would be asked for six mark also. Already this type of question it is asked. What I did, he explained. So what I did there was a very ordinary thing. So I have not done anything special thing. So what I did, I declared that the Britisher, British could not order me about in my own country. So here, what was the uh, British landlord, that secretary, he said that you are outsider. Gandhi said, I am not outsider. So here the statement here, he declared that the British could not order me about in my own country. This is my own country and the Britishers will not order me. So like that, here Gandhiji learned very important thing. And that is the very important turning point in Gandhi's life, right? This principle means how to fight with the Britishers. So here this art, art of understanding uh, how to fight with Britishers, Gandhiji learned. And here, now the influence of the Gandhiji spread in the system, means the British system, landlord uh, system, and now they would have such type of uh, respect for the Gandhiji. They will never uh, feel or never regret uh, in such a way, or we can say that that type of humiliation here peasants may not observe afterwards. So like this, here we can think. <clears throat> but Champarnya uh, did not begin as an act of defiance. It grew out of an attempt of elevating uh, the distress of large number of poor peasants. This was the typical Gandhi pattern. His politics were interwoven with the practical day-to-day -day problems of the millions. Means here, Gandhiji's politics was different than other politicians. What here, Gandhiji's politics were interwoven with the practical day-to-day -day problems of the millions. He used to solve the day-to-day -day problems of the million people. And practically he used to go there, he used to observe, and then he used to take the decision. So that was the very important positive trait of the Gandhiji's personality, it is here mentioned. His was not a loyalty to abstraction, it was a loyalty to living human being. So here, he was loyal to the human being, he was loyal to everyone. Those who are poor, it was his loyalty. He had taken care of all peasants. And at the same time, uh, he had taken care of the ashram. Means, he used to think about the those who, the people 
those who are in need and he sustained he helped them so here uh, his was not a loyalty to abstraction it was a loyalty to living human beings in everything here uh, gandhi did more or he tried to mold new free india who could stand on his own feet and thus make india free so here self reliant nature what is the final here thing we are getting gandhi ji had a vision of new modern india free india free from the fear of britishers like that india he visualized that india so here he tried to mold new free india who could stand on his own feet so there is no any help is required from the britishers so here india will stand on his own like that he uh, gandhi ji's vision was there who could stand on his own feet and thus make india free so here vision the leaders should have the vision and that is here reflected that right? free india it was the mr indian freedom it was his ultimate goal and how the india should have that freedom along with the sustainable development along with the rural area people all common man means here uh, he was not thinking only about the businessmen he was not thinking only about the other sectors but he was thinking about all factors about the human being means he used to think about women he used to think about the poor people in all aspects he means he used to talk with the lawyers educated people and uh, he used to argue with uh, british officers voice roy he used to send mail so many things so his dialogue with british officers his dialogue with the lawyers educated people and the poor people or deprived people means he used to communicate with all sectors of the society and he used to observe he used to appeal to the teachers uh, lawyers doctors means all professionals to come together and uh, try to give them the better lives uh, the living standard he used to think about the uh, backwardness it was observed so uh, he used to help them to sustain the things which need to be means cleanliness especially personal hygiene social hygiene medical facilities and the status standard so and self reliant image so we should respect everyone even though that person would be poor so here uh, statement it is india who could stand on his own feet and thus make india free now the last phase of the lesson very important uh, message we are getting and that is here i'm going to discuss <coughs> early in the champaran action charles fred andrews the english pacifist who had become devoted follower of mahatma or mahatma gandhi so like uh, indian followers here uh, charles fred andrews he was also uh, english pacifist and he become the devotee of the uh, here devoted uh, follower of the gandhi so here what happened uh, came to bid gandhi farewell before going on a tour of duty uh, to the fiji islands so here gandhi's lawyer friends thought it would be a good idea for andrews to stay in champaran and help them so lawyers might thought that uh, his englishman and his follower of the gandhi ji so if he would wait there in the champaran it would be great help for them this is the one of the thought from the lawyers point of view here what is the gandhi ji's perspective about this here it is very important perspective we can understand andrew <coughs> andrews was willing if gandhi agreed if 
Gandhi would be agreed then and he would give that service. But Gandhi was vehemently opposed. So here there is a strong opposition on the part of Gandhiji and what is that strong opposition? <coughs> he said, means Gandhiji said, you think that in this unequal fight it would be helpful if we have an Englishman on our side. This shows a weakness of our heart. Means we have taken Englishmen to fight against Englishmen. So this would be the weakness. The cause is just and you must rely upon yourself to win the battle. So here you should not seek a prop in Mr. Andrews because he happens to be an Englishman. So you should not take someone. So this is also here uh, seek a prop uh, to infer the meanings here. Uh, seek a prop it is given infer meanings from the context. So here you are thinking to try to find support or the assistance. Here you can underline that and you can write. So you should not seek a prop. You should not take assistance or the help support from the Andrew because he happens to be an Englishman because he is the Englishman. You are taking Englishmen to fight against uh, the Englishman. This is not good. You should not rely upon them. You should not think about that. You should be self-reliant. So the ending uh, here, it is very important ending. Uh, he he had read our mind correctly. Rajendra Prasad commented and we had no reply. And that time lawyers, they do not have any reply to this. Gandhi in this way taught us a lesson of self-reliance. So this is the important lesson, self-reliance means you fight, you have that strength. Why you are thinking about that any Englishman should come and then he will guide and then uh, we will just follow that person. It should not happen. You take the decision, you become the leader, others will also follow you and you fight for your own problem, for justice. So here, that self-reliance approach we can understand. So three important things, self-reliance, Indian independence, and help to share croppers were all bound together. So here, three things we will uh, think differently. One is self-reliance. So here, Gandhiji was insisting, what was the Gandhiji's here important thing we can understand, that is, he was insisting to be or to stand on your own feet. Do not take help of any Englishman or any person because you have that strength. You are educated, so you can lead the lawyers. He might be thinking about the lawyers. You are educated, so you can lead. You can help the, those who are illiterate. You can train them. You can take uh, proper decisions and others will follow your decision. So here, this can be an Indian independence. And once this awareness will create, if there is, there would not be any fear in the mind of the sharecroppers or the pigeons about Britishers, then whenever Gandhiji like leaders will call out that come for the Satyagraha or any such type of protest against the uh, British government, then surely they will come and this would be the beginning of the Indian independence. So here, it was not only the a task to give or it was not only to convince the people only for the sharecropping issue. It was ultimately, ultimate goal was the Indian independence. So here Gandhiji mentioned that humanity approach and the national service because it was his inner conscience to disobey the order for the humanity approach. He was not thinking to set the example of lawbreaker. Why he disobeyed that order? because of human being, because of the uh, positive thing he wished to inculcate among the uh, sharecroppers and he wanted to set the example that if we will fight for the rights, we will get that rights, we will get that courage. And so, uh, help to sharecroppers were bound together. So it was not only to, it was not only one aim of the Gandhiji here to self sharecroppers, 
but simultaneously two aims here mentioned that is uh, Indian independence and one more that is self-reliance. So we can uh, think about all the things, all that aspects. So think about the uh, question answers here. We have already discussed question number one, understanding the text here. Uh, why do you think Gandhi considered the Champaran episode to be turning point in his life? So here you can mention from beginning to ending that how uh, Gandhiji had taken decision, then what uh, problems he faced, then concern with the British landlord's uh, secretary, and then what he said that uh, you are outsider, I will not give any information. Uh, then the Tirhut division, uh, the chief, the commissioner, what was his also, means he also said that you leave that Tirhut division immediately. Then police uh, superintendent, uh, he had also uh, given the order to leave. Means hurdles were there. But with the help of, means he sent uh, information to Viceroy, then he sent telegraph to the Rajendra Prasad, then he sh shared everything with the uh, help of, means his followers uh, to Ashram also. And then uh, the <coughs> how pigeons of the share uh, croppers, their whatever issues, and they thought that he is the person champion, he is the Mahatma who is there to fight against such type of problem. So there uh, were mm. demonstration, means spontaneous demonstration in thousands we can observe. And then finally, uh, how the uh, commission it was said, and the, how he, with negotiation, how he break the deadlock. And finally he convinced that how 25%, it is also uh, important because the prestige, the important thing, uh, now they have surrendered. And this is the, this was the beginning and afterwards, after some years, that share cropping, it was also disappeared. And then uh, he started thinking about the uh, sustainable development of that area. And then uh, the message here, it is given that I declared that the British could not order me about in my own country. So uh, this type of things, so you can write. How was Gandhi able to influence lawyers? Give instances. So here you have to uh, focus on some uh, points in that what are the points you can mention. So here Gandhiji had taken meeting or the discussion with the lawyers. Gandhiji asked about the fees, the uh, condition of the um, present status of the problem. Then Gandhiji observed and Gandhiji scolded and so lawyers that why you are taking more fees. Now, going to that law court, it is not here, we can refer that. Mm. I will refer that line for you. I have come to the conclusion that we should stop going to law courts, uh, taking such cases to the courts uh, does little good, uh, where the pigeons are so crushed and fear stricken law courts are useless the real relief for them is to be free from fear so here uh, this was the approach of the gandhiji and it was totally different approach uh, than the others so this also it would be uh, we can say that influence the lawyer and one more again uh, there is an influence concern with that uh, we can uh, give the instance about these prominent lawyers uh, from the Bihar or that area, they were there. So we can give that also reference here. I will read for you some names here mentioned in that. Rajendra Prasad, uh, Bridge Kishore Babu, then um, Molana uh, Mazul Haq, and several prominent lawyers were there. Then they had a meeting. They observed that the Gandhiji was not native of that area, but he is ready to go uh, for the peasant in jail. So they decided that uh, we have to think about our own. It would be simple that if we will leave that place and Gandhiji would be in the prison. So they decided that uh, you give the instructions, we will follow you if you would be there in the prison. And then uh, there is very important statement of the Mahatma Gandhi that is uh, the battle of the Champaran is won. <coughs> so here 
uh, we can understand such type of <laughs> important things concerned with the so uh, you have to give uh, more instances concerned with that and that will, how the Gandhi's influence the lawyers then uh, ending also reference you can give uh, lawyers some they were thinking that uh, they can take the here Andrews especially the pacifist Charles Andrews uh, and he can help but there also Gandhi's uh, thinking was different and there was a lesson of self uh, reliance means all instances that proofs you can give and all that due to that proofs we can understand that there here Gandhi's influenced the lawyers then third question what was the attitude of the average Indian in smaller localities towards um, advocate of home rules? So here, uh, there was a fear in the mind of uh, people. Because there was, if they would show sympathy towards the home rule, any advocate or the person who, who was there in that home rule moment, then Britishers may come, they may beat them, they may take them in the prison. So uh, they used to, uh, resist that person to stay so there is a one reference about that and that I will refer it was an extraordinary thing in those days Gandhi commented for a government uh, professor to harbor a man like me smaller localities in Indians were afraid to show sympathy for advocate of home rule and because of the fear of the authorities nobody would be agree to take any person in their house to stay because there would be a threat to their family if somebody the activist would come there and he would stay and their own family they would take into the jail then how do we know uh, that ordinary people uh, too contributed to the uh, freedom movement so this uh, is general question you can write means the common people uh, they supported especially the leader like Gandhiji and because of their common man support uh, whenever there would be uh, Gandhiji would announce Satyagraha or something whenever any announcement uh, so many uh, spontaneous um, demonstrations in thousands were in this also lesson we can give the reference in that Motihari village around that uh, court uh, house so many pigeons were there black in the pigeons like that here uh, reference it is given so common men their presence their support uh, in such type of activities because if one person would be there then they could uh, think differently if more are there then here official also felt powerless and finally it was uh, first time happened that the civil disobedience also trumped in that modern India so and why it happened because of the uh, common man's support if pigeons would not be there then they may take Gandhiji into the custody because one person or four or five person they may not take into consideration so here if more people are there uh, which means the leadership qualities that person may do anything and their may be the cause of law and order and uh, it may spread again so it would be challenge for the Britishers to again do uh, the good governance so it was the problem may occur in their government things so the, from higher level from viceroy level to other also uh, level uh, they would give instruction that don't do anything to the person like Mahatma Gandhi so here uh, one more uh, talking about the text here uh, freedom from fear is more important than legal justice uh, for the poor do you think that the poor uh, poor of the India are free from fear after independence so this is a very important question uh, you think in positive way that the freedom uh, from fear it was important thing we can mention if there is a freedom if they would get the document only legal document and that legal document will not have that much value if there is a still fear in their mind now also if you are thinking that we have too much fear about the police station there uh, so many rules regulations and sometime or the court also we are 
so many people they are still saying that we will not uh, mean step out at least one also thing against any person we will not go in the court so still there is a fear about the bureaucracy still uh, such type of problem about the poor is still exist in uh, means after the independence also still exists so this is actually the failure but uh, we will not have such type of negative approach as a youth when you will come into the power uh, or when you will have that opportunity to help you go and you can help so as per your own uh, thinking you can mm, here answer then good qualities of a, here qualities of a good leader so in this uh, you can give all that qualities uh, which are concerned with the leader so here what is that the leader should uh, have vision goal and here what is the uh, vision or the goal we can observe that indian independence was the ultimate goal then self reliant it was the ultimate goal so here uh, the region, the leader should have that principle means with certain principles uh, he should work means like a non violence we can understand he should not have the selfish approach he should be selfless negotiation skill uh, the communication skill uh, he should equally treat everyone he should also behave like a common man so so many uh, points uh, you can add in this means uh, he should have commitment devotion like here mahatma gandhi he was there more than 7 months means around one year he was there and uh, his vision should not be uh, like just to work on one project and then uh, leave that project not like that here gandhi ji had given the justice as well as and gandhi ji tried for the betterment of means social backwardness cultural backwardness education medicine and uh, women empowerment all aspects self reliant everything here gandhi ji covered in that uh, mission so we can understand that all uh, such type of things it can include as a uh, good uh, leadership qualities so dear students all that aspects uh, whatever it is uh, there in the lesson i have put forward uh, to you you think and introspect you note down all that things and what you can do for the nation you can think and all the best uh, for your future plans uh, so think positive and think for our nation think for our india and surely we will achieve that target uh, with the youth like you yes